Hello students, welcome back to this chapter light. In the previous class, we talked about reflection and how images are formed. We also saw about luminous and non-luminous objects. In this chapter, in this lesson, we are going to see how light forms multiple images in multiple mirrors. We are also going to see about sunlight which is the greatest source of light around us. We know what happens when light is incident on a plane mirror. It gets reflected. What happens when the reflected light from a plane mirror is reflected again using a plane mirror? Or in other words, what happens if we use two mirrors? Can you think of a place where you have seen two mirrors used in combination? The hairdresser of course. When you go to a hairdresser, after the hairdresser is done dressing your hair, they will show you a mirror kept behind your head, right? Just to show how it, how they have done it. That is kept along with the mirror in front of you. This helps us see the image of the back of our head, right? So, this is a case of two plane mirrors used in combination. So, using two plane mirrors in combination helps us see the parts where it is, which is not directly visible. For example, the back of our head. The back of our head is not directly visible to us. So, we use two plane mirrors in some certain combination to help us see those things. You must remember a device which helps us see such things which you have learned in your class 6th. A periscope of course. A periscope is a device or it is an instrument which helps us see things which are above our eye level. The periscope consists of a long tube at each end of which two mirrors are placed at 45 degrees in such a way that light is reflected through an angle of 90 degree by each mirror as you can see in this image. Thus, light from a viewed object enters the observer's eye in a direction parallel to but below the original direction of the object. Periscopes are used in submarines, tanks and also by soldiers in bunkers to see outside things which are above their eye level. Now, let us see an activity which will help us understand how multiple images are formed by two or more mirrors. Materials required, plane mirrors, a coin or any small object, a flat surface and adhesive tape or clay to hold the mirrors, protractor, ruler and white paper. Take two plane mirrors. Set the two mirrors at right angles that is 90 degrees to each other and hinge them together using tape or clay. Place a coin or object in between the mirrors. How many images of the coin or object can be seen? Note down the number of images. Now, repeat the above step for various angles between the two mirrors that is 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 120 degrees and 180 degrees. In each case, note down the number of images formed of the object. Lastly, set the two mirrors parallel to each other. Place an object in the center between the two mirrors. Can you count the number of images formed in this case? What an interesting experiment. Using the same idea, many many devices can be used to create beautiful patterns. One such device or one such instrument you must have seen is a kaleidoscope. This is a kaleidoscope. Let us see how a kaleidoscope works. Materials needed. Three rectangular mirror strips of dimensions 15 cm long, 4 cm wide. A cardboard tube or cylinder which is 18 cm long. A cardboard disc with an aperture in the middle. A circular plain glass plate. Glue and color paper. Step 1. Join the three mirrors together to form a prism. Place the prism inside the cardboard tube. Close one end of the tube with the cardboard disc with a pinhole. This is for seeing the pattern. On the other end of the cardboard tube, fix the circular plain glass plate to the mirrors. Place on this glass plate several small pieces of colored glass. It could be broken pieces of colored bangles also. Close this end of the tube by a glass plate. Allow enough space for the colored glass pieces to move around. Peep through the pinhole or aperture. You will see a variety of patterns in the tube. 
How beautiful are the patterns formed in a kaleidoscope? Did you know that in a kaleidoscope the same pattern is never repeated again? In fact, many designers use a kaleidoscope to get some ideas of some new designs. So, that was all about multiple image formation. Now, let us go to a very important and very interesting topic sunlight. Sunlight is the biggest source of light that we have on our planet. Let us learn more about sunlight. The sun is a source of white light. White light is actually a combination of seven different colors of light, which are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. This is often abbreviated as V I B G Y O R. If white light is a combination of these seven colors, can we split these seven colors from white light or can we split white light into these component seven colors? Yes, it is possible. This very phenomenon is known as dispersion of light. I am sure all of you have heard of the famous scientist Sir Isaac Newton. It was Newton who discovered this fantastic phenomena of dispersion of light. Isaac Newton demonstrated that white light could be separated out into its seven colors by passing it through a light prism. Activity Sunlight consists of different colors. Materials needed one plane mirror, a bowl with water, a suitable place where direct light is available, white wall or screen or white paper. Place the mirror so that half of it is immersed in water inside the bowl. Direct the sunlight or light from a flashlight onto the bowl. Observe the reflected light from the mirror on a white wall or screen. How many colors do you see? This happens because here the mirror and water forms a prism. The prism breaks up the light into its component colors. Like we saw, white light is made up of seven different colors. Have you ever observed these seven colors in nature appearing together? Of course you have. A rainbow of course. A rainbow is a natural phenomenon where we directly observe dispersion of light. A rainbow forms due to three different phenomena that is reflection, refraction and dispersion of light. A rainbow happens when it is raining in one part of the sky and it is sunny in another part of the sky. Here is an interesting fact. If light entering a water droplet bounces off the water droplet twice, a double rainbow is observed. Did you know we can even make a rainbow inside a glass jar? Let us see a video which will explain this phenomenon.
Summary Two mirrors inclined to each other give multiple images. Beautiful patterns are formed in a kaleidoscope because of multiple reflections. Sunlight or white light consists of seven different colors. The splitting of white light into its constituent colors is known as dispersion. The rainbow is a natural phenomenon showing dispersion. So students, in today's class, we learned about multiple reflection, we learned about the sunlight, we even learned about the beautiful phenomenon that is a rainbow formation. Let us meet in the next class to learn more about light and also about our eyes. Thank you.